Hi there, this is Sherry Hayes with All Things Home Upstate South Carolina and I'm also a realtor with Remax Results and we own a local home building company called Hayes Homes Incorporated and today I am going to take you for a tour of the lovely little town of Travelers Rest, South Carolina which is right outside of Greenville, about 15 to 20 minutes outside of Greenville and we're going to be talking about some of the pros and cons of the area and if you're thinking about moving to Greenville, it may be somewhere that you might want to consider if you like the country and you like a small town. So stick with us and let's get started on our video. So a huge plus, I think, for Traveler's Rest is the downtown Main Street area and the restaurants. Beautiful little downtown. I'm going to be showing you some video of it. Um, it's very pretty lit up at night. There are a lot of quaint little restaurants downtown that are very good. We've tried a lot of them out. Um, I would highly recommend it. Tandem, um, Sidewall Pizza, um, Whistle Stop Cafe, just to name a few, Pink Mama's Ice Cream. They're just, it's just a really cute little downtown. And of course it's right next to the Swamp Rabbit Trail. So that's a great area to walk or ride bikes and Sunrift Adventure Travel is right there to equip you if you're getting ready to do some activities in the mountains, hiking or kayaking or different things like that. Um, so check that out. Um, I know that I have not named all of the wonderful restaurants in Traveler's Rest, but there are quite a few and um, definitely worth trying out. We're downtown Traveler's Rest right now at a little restaurant called the Whistle Stop Cafe, and it smells so good. Um, salads, burgers, all kinds of different foods here at the Whistle Stop. So stop on by if you're in Traveler's Rest. And Whistle Stop has outdoor dining on the top of the building, so don't miss that. And at the back, the Caboose Express. And this is the Swamp Rabbit Trail going that way. And also all the way into Greenville that way. Down that way, we have the Tandem Crepery and Coffee House, the Swamp Rabbit Brewery, and Topsoil Restaurant here. the page turns, new and used books, an ATI physical therapy, and off in the distance you can see the Remax office near the Great House. Here we have Sunrift Adventures, which will get you equipped for all your outdoor activities. Tandem, Coffee House, and Crapery. Very good Carolina Honeybee Company plant life. Copperhead Mountain Distillery, and on down there, Shortfields Restaurant. And this is kind of where Swamp Rabbit Trail begins, goes all the way into the city of Greenville. And Upcountry Provisions, which is always busy. I think a few of these restaurants are probably just shut down for the 4th of July week. Here is the Remax office at Traveler's Rest, kind of right as you drive into the city and from the front porch. Come see us. One of the things that I like about Traveler's Rest is just coming up into Traveler's Rest, even to the Walmart and the, the shopping area there, um, Main Street Traveler's Rest. You can see the mountains all around Traveler's Rest. It's just beautiful coming in from the mountains. And it is really a small little mountain town that's very close to Greenville. So that would be an advantage of it. It is more rural, more country property, and um, more mountain views, more kind of peaceful, less traffic. So that would be a positive of Traveler's Rest. Um, if you like to live in the country. And um, I'm gonna show you some of the city and some of the shopping areas right now. 
Well, it's very busy this time of day, but this is about six o'clock and here's Walmart and Traveler's Rest. You can see the Mountain View off in the background and Zaxby's gas station, Chick-fil-A, CVS and Walgreens over there. So one negative thing maybe about Traveler's Rest is you're not going to be real near to a mall or uh, stores like Kohl's or Ross or TJ Maxx. Um, you have to travel a little ways in to Cherrydale or to uh, Greenville to get to those stores. Costco is going to be on the other side of town. Um, so Traveler's Rest as far as um, big retail stores is going to be probably lacking a little bit. I think um, they did just put a food lion there and a grocery store that was there changed over. And then they do have Walmart, which is very nice there in the middle of Traveler's Rest. And you can see the mountains all around it. So that that's a good thing. There are a couple of good options there, but if you really like to be near uh, shopping as far as clothing, retail, big box retail stores, you're going to be a little bit further away and Traveler's Rest. Schools and Traveler's Rest are very good. Um, Traveler's Rest High School is one that I'm going to show you and Gateway Elementary is another that I'll show you. Um, beautiful mountain views around those schools and they're very good schools. Um, are they the best schools in Greenville? Uh, that would be left up to opinion. Um, you don't hear a lot of people trying to move to Traveler's Rest for schools, but I think the schools are very good over there. And I'm going to show you some pictures of the schools. Um, there are other schools that you could consider um, within the Traveler's Rest area. Um, Blue Ridge High School, Blue Ridge Middle, uh, Mountain View Elementary, kind of up in the Taylors area. And also, um, don't forget about the option to do a charter middle school or charter middle college like Greer Middle College located over in the Greer Taylors area, not too far from Traveler's Rest. Um, there are private schools available, but they're going to be a little bit further drive from Traveler's Rest. So something to consider there. And we do have Furman University, which is actually a part of Greenville, very near Traveler's Rest, a very prestigious private college, beautiful grounds to walk on, and a pond in the middle of the, the university. A lot of people also do weddings and have events over at Furman University. Okay, you're looking at Traveler's Rest High School. And um, you can see another neighborhood off there in the distance. Might be a little hard to see it, but you can see the mountains behind Traveler's Rest High School. Of course, it's summer, so no one is here right at the moment. But I will turn around so you can see the entrance to the school. Very pretty with the trees. Makes it a little hard to see the school, though, but yeah, it's tucked back in here. Not very far from town. So I do want to show you the elementary school over here in Traveler's Rest. This is Gateway Elementary. And you can see the gorgeous mountain view of Paris Mountain, which uh, so it's kind of between Traveler's Rest and Greenville. Furman University is on the other side there. So that's Gateway Elementary School. Okay, another con maybe for Traveler's Rest would be just hospitals, um, hospital facilities. You're going to have some small doctor's offices. I think that's growing. I'm seeing more and more um, coming in. But uh, we do have a small Prisma North Greenville campus there. Um, other than that, you would have to travel more into Greenville to get to the, to the major hospitals. Um, but there is a facility, and I'm getting ready to show you a picture Here's of that. Prisma Health North Greenville. So you can see the hospital down here. And it is late in the evening, so most less people are here right now. 
is just outside of Traveler's Rest. Just so you can see the hospital facility down here. And of course there are others, but this is the closest to Traveler's Rest. So I did take some video of a couple of different neighborhoods near Traveler's Rest. And Paris Mountain is very near Traveler's Rest. As a matter of fact, you can see it from downtown Traveler's Rest. There are some beautiful upscale neighborhoods tucked back in the foothills of those mountains. And then also on up into Traveler's Rest, there are a lot of affordable communities and neighborhoods that are gonna have beautiful mountain views. So um, check this out and I hope this helps. Of course, there are a lot of uh, neighborhoods that I have not been able to show you in this video, but there are older homes, brand new communities, just a wide variety as far as pricing in there as well. Okay guys, we are up here in Traveler's Rest now at a community called Briarwood Meadows, which is near Little Texas Road and State Park Road. And I thought I would show you this neighborhood to give you an idea of a medium price neighborhood and Traveler's Rest um, with lovely mountain views from a lot of the homes. So here we go. So here are just a few of the homes in this neighborhood. And I think you might be starting in here, um, maybe at around 400,000, going up to maybe 600 what I would think for this neighborhood. Some of these homes have basements and you can see off in the distance the mountain views. Another shot of Briarwood Meadows. Hardy and Stone homes and off that direction there is a very pretty view of the mountains. And we are in Traveler's Rest. So tucked way back up in here toward Paris Mountain is a neighborhood called Pleasant Valley. And there is another one right next to it at the end of Smith Road. Again off of Little Texas in the Traveler's Rest area. Just an example of some homes in Pleasant Valley. And you can see that there's there are plenty of lots still available in this neighborhood and views of Paris Mountain. And we are right now at Nature's Watch, which is also a private gated community at the foot of Paris Mountain. So really beautiful home sites, homes, and there are, again, uh, plenty of lots still available in this neighborhood at the base of Paris Mountain. Okay, so I wanted to say we're over here in Traveler's Rest at a neighborhood called Breckenridge, and these are hardy homes, either on very short crawl or slab, and you can see Paris Mountain in the background. But um, I wanted to show you all, you know, there are definitely older homes and Traveler's Rest. These are, this is a newer community, but not all of the homes are very expensive homes out here. There's a wide variety. But Traveler's Rest is just a beautiful little town growing and I think um, it's going to continue to expand. There are some rural properties out here too. Um, for cattle and horses. Okay, we are out here at Jackson Hollow and I'm about to show you a beautiful street here up in Traveler's Rest heading into Taylor's. This is kind of heading toward the Blue Ridge area, but still convenient to Traveler's Rest. Okay, this is Jackson Hollow and it is a private drive and you can see the mountains off in the distance, Paris Mountain, again. And we're gonna drive down in here and look at a couple of houses. 
I believe there are still lots available. So very large estate homes out here on property with beautiful views. Just like farm property around here. More of the homes back here in um, Jackson Hollow. And this is kind of the end of the road. You can see Paris Mountain again, but I do believe there are lots still available. Um, maybe privately owned, but there's definitely vacant land down here that could be built on. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video from All Things Home Upstate South Carolina. Again, I'm Sherry Hayes. And if you did enjoy it and you got some benefit out of it, please hit like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications and be sure not to miss another video. Um, you can also share this video with your friends. If you know someone that's considering a relocation to Greenville or maybe thinking about selling a home or building a home in the area, please pass this information along to them and we would greatly appreciate it. We do uh, value all of our viewers and your comments, so if you make a comment, I will try to get back to you as quickly as possible. And again, we appreciate it, and we hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks.